Welcome everyone to Weekly News NIDW Mini Major Tidbits and the topic for this video is Sara Duterte binura ang EDSA post. Sa isang deleted post posted on official VP Sara Duterte's account, nakikisama si VP Sara Duterte sa paggugunita ng EDSA People Power Revolution at ng legacy nito sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas kung saan kanyang ina-advocate ang paglaban para sa kung ano ang tama. Gunitain ang revolusyon at bumuo ng bansa kung saan nananaig ang justisya, kapayapaan, at kaunlaran. Matatanda ang last year, hindi ginawang National Non-Working Holiday or any kind of holiday ni President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ang EDSA 1 sa ikatatlong putwalong taong anibersaryo ng EDSA People Power na dinaluhan ng maraming human rights icons kasama si Attorney Chel Jokno kung saan sila ay naghold ng pagdiriwang para i-commemorate ang EDSA People Power Revolution. As a quick reminder, EDSA 1 or the People Power Revolution aka the Yellow Revolution aka the Bloodless Revolution ang nagpatalsik sa in total 21 taong rehimen ng kanyang ama gamit ang isang mapayapat bloodless na revolusyon ng masa sa pangunguna ng mga religious leaders. My dear people, I wish you to pray because it's only through prayer that we may solve this problem. This is Cardinal Sin speaking to the people, especially in Metro Manila. I am indeed concerned about the situation of Minister Enrile and General Ramos. I am calling our people to support our two good friends at the camp. If any of you could be around at Camp Aguinaldo to show your solidarity and your support in this very crucial period when our two good friends have shown their idealism. Masa at Buda and future President Corazon Aquino sa isang maladaluyong na dilaw ng pag-asa at mga ribon na nagdadala ng pangako ng bagong buhay at demokrasya sa ating bansa upang protektahan ang mga tumitiwalag o mga tumiwalag na nagmutiny na general katulad ni na Defense Minister Juan Ponce Enrile at acting Armed Forces Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Fidel Ramos later the President after Cory. I cannot in conscience uh, recognize the President as, my, as the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and I am appealing to my brother members of the Cabinet to heed the will of the people. I am with Minister Enrile and uh, the uh, reason for my being here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that because the Armed Forces of the Philippines has ceased to be the real Armed Forces of the Philippines. Coincidentally, inamin ni Juan Ponce Enrile na pineke niya ang abos sa kanya ng mga rebelding komunista raw kuno, to justify the martial law that Marcos wanted to put down. Then again, retracted his statements sa isang vlog ni then loser Vice President Hopeful Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Ngayon, he's now the Chief Presidential Legal Counsel at 100 years old. Ginawang excuse ni President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. na sa linggo dadaan ang araw ng pagtanggal ng diktadurang rehimen ng kanyang ama kaya minabuti niyang hindi na lang ilagay dahil most Filipinos won't be affected by any kind of holiday proclamations since sa linggo nga daw siya mapupunta. Pero if that's the case, Bakit hindi mo nalang siya ginawang holiday in the first place since halos wala naman talagang magbabago? What gives? You went out of your way to avoid commemorating and celebrating the celebration regarding the movement that toppled your father's regime and basically ousted you and the family for a few decades. Seems like bitter ka pa rin na napatalsik ang diktadura ng iyong ama. I mean, I get it, pero seems like gusto mo talagang magstay sa position mo until the end of your term, trying to rehabilitate the Marcos name, which is apparently your sole purpose for running, sabi nga ng kapatid mong si Aimee. Well, gunatain natin, louder and stronger than the previous celebrations and commemorations of this momentous occasion combined, kung saan ating patuloy na ipagpapalaban o ipaglalaban ang kagustuhan Tuhan ng sambayanan para sa isang representanteng pamumuno na inuuna ang bansa bago ang sarili 
at pamilya. Ating iligwak ang mga malisyoso at nakakabahalang subersyon ng katotohanan at huwarang pagbubura ng ating kasaysayan. Tulad na lang ng pagtanggal ng DepEd ng curriculum outline from Diktadurang Marcos to just Diktadura to sanitize or basically sanitize, well, his father. Check my NIDW recap number 17 for the whole spiel pero as I said earlier, mukhang ang top and foremost purpose ng kanyang kandidatura at pagtitimpi in the midst of all these chaos at commemoration ng pagpapatalsik sa kanyang ama hanggang masanitize ang kanilang pangalan at makabalik sa political cultural at social side guys kasi even then kahit na he's a bit popular well the political side guys doesn't really like him to be in any sort of position pero now since he's the president he can do whatever the fuck he wants sinabi sa panibagong post ni Vice President Sara Duterte na itinanggal raw ang post commemorating the Edsa People Power Revolution dahil wala raw itong pahintulot sa ating VP na ipost ang ganoong message truth is Neither of them is even acknowledging EDSA as anything but any other day, at least even Marcus. Ang video clip na ito ay galing sa aking series na News Item Worthy Recap. Check the entire video for the complete weekly news recap and subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date sa mga local at global news na I'll make sure would be interesting to you. Salamat sa mga panood mga kapahing. For me, like, subscribe, and follow my links in socials and of course, Joseph would be linked down below. Sa susunod ulit, Paalam.